Hello, welcome back. How to hit more targets? Well, if we want to hit more targets, it's all about pattern percentage. And pattern percentage is the number of pellets in a 30 inch circle at 40 yards divided by the number of pellets in the cartridge. So number of pellets in the 30 inch circle divided by the number of pellets in the cartridge at 40 yards gives us our pattern percentage. So how do we work out how many pellets there are in the cartridge that we're shooting? It can vary enormously. And I just want to show you this example of how different brands vary with the number of pellets in a cartridge. Here's, here's this chart. And we've got Winchester double A's have got 364. I won't go through all of them. Can you, you can refer to it later on. And the Rio Elites have got 448. So it goes from 364 pellets to 448 pellets. And these cartridges are all 1,200 feet per second, one and an eighth ounce, seven and a half. So you don't, if you want to work out your pattern percentage, you've actually got to count the number of pellets in the cartridge. But later on, I'll give you an average count for uh, the cartridges. So you don't have to cut open the cartridge and... Um, work out how many pellets. Okay, so what is this pattern uh, percentage? Well, a full choke, a full choke delivers 70% of its load in a 30 inch circle at 40 yards. A modified choke delivers 70% of its load at 35 yards. Improved cylinder delivers 70% at 30 yards. And cylinder choke delivers 70% at 25 yards. So that you can see if you want 70% of your shot within a 30 inch circle, a cylinder choke would do it at 25 yards and a full would do it at 40 yards. So that information is quite useful. So let's have a look at it a little bit differently. Chokes at 40 yards, a full choke delivers 70%. A modified choke will give you 60% at 40 yards. An improved cylinder will only give you 50% of your shot at 40 yards. And cylinder will only give you 40% of your shot at 40 yards within that 30 inch circle. That is important information if we want to hit more clays. Because it tells us what kind of chokes we should be putting in our guns. So th this is, I'll show you this chart so that you can refer back to it if you ever want to. This is the pellet count for shot size number nine all the way down to BBs. And there it is, for example, seven and a half, which is what we mainly use. Seven and a half is about 350 pellets in a one ounce load and 394 in a one and an eighth ounce load. So that's the number of pellets with 3% antimony. So what do we do to increase the number of pellets in a 30 inch circle? And obviously, if we increase the number of pellets in a 30 inch circle, then we've got more chance of hitting more clays. Because I'm sure that sometimes, as you know, we have a shot, and we, th when I, and we think, well, what did I do differently? And the clay doesn't break because our pattern may not be 100% and we may have gaps in our pattern using an inappropriate choke or whatever. So what do we do? The first thing is, no matter what ammunition we use, we have to use it on the pattern board. We have to go with that ammunition and pattern our gun at 40 yards by shooting at a target. Okay, so if we want to increase the number of pellets in a 30 inch circle. The first thing we do is we clean our gun barrels because they get fouled with plastic and with powder residue. So clean barrels all the time and the gun will shoot consistently. Try different shot sizes and brands of ammunition. And I'll show you some different brands of ammunition. Try a different choke. And try using lower velocity cartridges. Lower velocity means less deformed pellets, less flies, and you'll get more shot in that 30-inch circle. The other interesting thing is, is a full choke 
gives you a longer shot string. A shorter shot string is advantageous. A full choke gives you a longer shot string because there's more constriction and the pellets on the outside get more deformed and they go don't keep their true path. They fly in all different directions. So we want to keep as many pellets in that 30-inch circle. A shorter shot string is advantageous. Steel shot actually gives us a shorter str uh, shot string because a shorter str shot string means at the point of hitting the target, there's more pellets right where the action is, where the target is. Now, I want to go back to brands of ammo. Now, I've got, I've got some desert rats here, and they're a budget uh, gun. I'm talking for down the line here. So desert rats, a budget cartridge. They might be good in some guns. Then we've got what I normally shoot, which is Champion 1250s. And they, they have um, a very good shot in there, 5% antimony, and it's not a bad cartridge. I don't get sponsored by uh, cartridge people. A good friend of mine, Peter Hendy, he gave me these the other week. These are Game Ball. Game Ball make a lot of noise on um, YouTube and other videos about the quality of their cartridges. These are Super Game. And uh, so if you want it for high birds, so if you want to get your shot out there pretty quickly, that's what they say. Game Ball, Super Game. And then they also have a competition load, which is Evo, Evo Game Ball. And then they have their high end, which is Platinum. Diamond shot, which is supposed to be polished and high antimony and everything else, and they are fine looking. They are fine looking cartridges. The high brass doesn't make any difference. In the old days, high brass meant a more powerful load, but these days it's mainly for looks. And these um, uh, cartridges, these platinums, they've got the Gordon case, and we'll talk about the Gordon case in another video that I will do soon. But I want to go back to what I've moved to. I put champions in my top barrel, and I've been shooting BMPs. These are Baschieri and uh, Pelagri. And they also got a patented uh, Gordon case. And I just want to show you the difference in the crimp. This is a premium shell, and this is a budget shell. I'll show you the two crimps, and I'm going to do a video on premium cartridges pretty soon. And so, if we look at the crimps, this is the crimp on a budget chill. I don't know if you can see it, but right in the centre, there is pieces of plastic that haven't broken off. It's very hard to see, but it's not a real good crimp. Then compare it to the crimp of the uh, Baschieri and Pelagri, and it's a really neat crimp. Why is crimping important? Well, it's important just like the quality of the wad inside. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about why we should use premium cartridges. And so the point of this video was how to hit more targets. We will hit more targets if we put more shot in that 30-inch circle. And so go out to the pattern board, try different ammunition, try different speeds, try different chokes, but you've got to get... At 40 yards, in that 30-inch circle, you've got to get at least 70% of your shot in that 30-inch circle. 80% would be fantastic. I hope this video was useful. Good to see you again, and I'll see you next time.